Stephanie Hendrickson with Additive Manufacturing. I'm here with Ken Burns, Technical Sales Director at Forecast 3D. Um, Ken, tell us a little bit about your company. Sure, so Forecast 3D has been around since 1994. We've historically focused a lot in the prototyping market, some short run production stuff with some of our traditional services like cast urethane. Today we really define ourselves as a prototyping and a production house focusing the 3D printing um, opportunities out there. And so one of the 3D printing technologies that you use is HP's multi-jet fusion. Um, why did Forecast choose to invest in, in this technology? For the first time out of any 3D printing technology, we believe that HP technology could actually handle large volumes on it. Uh, the material properties being more isotropic, have the ability to compete with injection molded materials out there, and the throughput of the systems can actually produce that volumes that allow you to go beyond the prototyping level. So you mentioned production and as your focus for this technology, um, what kinds of quantities are we talking? Yeah, so we see most of our cus customers today are in the low thousands for the production applications. Although we do have a handful of customers that are doing tens of thousands of parts um, this year, and we'll have uh, probably one or two customers that will produce over a million parts this year. Uh, one of the applications that we found is a really good fit are some of the industrial applications, so think internal components on equipment. A second application that we've had uh, a lot of discussed in is the mass customization, right? That's what 3D printing is great for. Um, the throughput of the HP technology has allowed us to do that. So there's one customer specifically, Weave. They make uh, custom insoles for orth orthotics, and they also have a new product, a sandal, that has a custom orthotic on it. And then the other one is kind of in that low quantity uh, point. So that, hey, I'm gonna make a thousand of these. I can go straight into production. I don't need to do anything else. Let's just produce. So given all that you've learned about this system and the ways that you're using it, um, do you think that 3D printing is a complement or a competitor to injection molding? So I actually would say it's both. Yes, it's gonna take some op opportunities away from injection molding, but at the end of the day, it's probably going to create a better market overall for whoever the end use customer is. And that means, I, I honestly believe that it just means growing the market and both those opportunities. It's better solidifying where injection molding has its place and where 3D printing, 3D printing has its place for the larger volume stuff in there. Ken, thank you for joining me and talking a little bit more about Forecast 3D and what you guys have learned about 3D printing for production as well as prototyping. Vet, always a pleasure.